Tô aqui. Vamos lá. Human from the island of Tobago. He has some information for us. Thank you. That'll be all for now. We'll let you know if we want you to testify. Yes, sir. And you happen to have your passport with you? Yes. May I have it, please? Mr. Anderson tells me you're planning to return to the States. As soon as this is over. Well, I can't say I blame you. Your stay in Trinidad hasn't been a happy one. However, I'm afraid I can't let you go. Not just yet. Perhaps not for a very long time. Mr. Anderson, I... Mrs. Emery, your husband didn't commit suicide. He was murdered. Murdered? Yes. According to the medical examiner, there were signs of a struggle. He died of a fractured skull, not a bullet wound. The gun was fired after death. But who would want to kill Neil? I have here a statement made by the man who just left. I'd like you to hear it. I, Jeffrey Bates, do declare that at 4.30 in the afternoon of Monday last, I saw Neil Emery's boat docked at the landing which adjoins the estate of Max Fabian. There was no one on board. I was in view of the landing for at least half an hour, and during that time saw no one approach or leave the boat. 4.30 in the afternoon, approximately the time at which your husband was murdered. You think Mr. Fabian... Or someone in his employ. But, uh, I can't believe it. He was a friend of Neil's. Mrs. Emery, if you knew Max Fabian's history, you'd have no trouble whatever in believing it. But, but what reason could he have? As for his precise reasons, I'm not sure. But we're certain your husband was involved with him. And murder is very much a part of Mr. Fabian's business. He's caused the death of many thousands. Oh, he's not a criminal in the ordinary sense, far from it. He's a man who deals in political intrigue, secret information, treason. A man who's grown rich by exploiting trouble and unrest wherever they exist. During the last war, he recruited saboteurs for the enemy. He bought and sold vital military information for both sides. However, there's no need to go on. The important fact is that Max Fabian is now in the Caribbean, and frankly, we're disturbed.